From Jamie's dream in season seven being connected to the ghost in the pilot, to crazy theories about how he travels to the future in his sleep. Here's how Outlander just confirmed that Jamie Fraser is going to the future. Did you notice what went down in the first few episodes of season seven? Jamie dreams of the future, but the dreams actually represent real life events. Jamie spills the beans to Claire, finally shedding some light on one of the show's longest standing mysteries, AKA. The question behind Jamie's ghost appearing in 1946, they delve into a detail that up until now has been left completely unanswered. Jamie talks about the vision in his dream, where he catches a glimpse of his beloved in the future. Remember that ghostly encounter Jamie's doppelganger had with Claire at the inn? It was like a teaser, a sneak peek of the time-traveling adventure Claire was about to unknowingly stumble upon. It caught the attention of good old Frank as he saw a younger Jamie lurking around the inn while Claire was minding her own business. And let me tell you, this encounter left fans scratching their heads because it was never properly explained. Maybe now is the time to unravel the truth behind Jamie's ghostly shenanigans. So let's dig deeper into the mind-boggling connections between Jamie's dreams in Outlander Season 7 and his appearance as a ghost back in Season 1. Things are about to get eerie here, guys. In Jamie's dream, he vividly describes Claire sitting at a desk, busy with her writing. Now, if we rewind back to that pilot episode, what do we see? Jamie's ghost hauntingly peering at Claire as she brushes her hair in front of a dressing table. The similarities are uncanny. But here's where it gets really intriguing. Jamie has this unmistakable feeling that he must have caught a glimpse of Claire in her proper time. Whoa, hold up. Could it be that Jamie somehow had a dream connection that allowed him to see Claire in a different time and place, even though he himself was never able to time travel like Claire and their descendants? Furthermore, he recalls the exact scene that was shown to the viewers of Brianna and Roger arriving back in Scotland after returning to the future. Jamie explains to Claire that baby Mandy is older and perfectly healthy, before naming Fiona as the woman they are staying with. This reveals to Claire that Jamie's dreams must in fact be real, and he is seeing the actual future. Mind-blowing, right? Now. While Jamie's dreams in season seven didn't exactly explain the whole ghostly business from 1946, it definitely brought one of Outlander's most enduring mysteries back into the spotlight. But fear not, Outlander fans, we're getting closer to uncovering the truth. If you wanna know more, just hear what the show's executive producer, Meryl Davis, has to say. And let me tell you, something she said about Jamie's dreams got me thinking. Could there be a ghost Jamie in the future? Here's the scoop. In a scene that actually dropped before season seven premiered, Jamie spilled the beans to Claire about the dream he had, in which he saw her surrounded by some kind of electric light. Now, Claire was a bit confused since he'd never actually seen electricity before, and Meryl Davis spilled the deets about this. But before we get into that, just know that it isn't a spoiler. She said it's from the book, so she feels fairly confident about this. But apparently, Jamie can see into the future. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's only fair that Jamie gets some kind of time-related superpower. Considering his wife, daughter, son-in-law, and grandkids can all hop through the centuries, right? Well, according to Meryl, we're in for more glimpses of Jamie's future visions in Season 7. She mentioned that her personal feeling is that it was Diana Gabaldon's nod to the fact that he can't time travel. So she gave Jamie some vision of this to tie him into the future. Whoa, it looks like Jamie's got some mind-blowing abilities up his sleeve, and we're in for one wild ride as we uncover more of his future-seeing adventures. But here's where things get really interesting. Jamie, seeing Claire surrounded by electric light in his dream, immediately took fans back to the very beginning of Outlander, this was brought up to the executive producer, and you know what she had to say? She simply said the big question of how he got there and what it all means is how the whole thing will resolve itself. Of course, the executive producer wasn't about to spill all the beans and reveal hidden secrets, and even the author of the original book hasn't unraveled that mystery just yet. But she made the limits of time travel pretty clear, and I'll break it down for you. Thing is, not everyone can time travel in this wild universe. We all know Claire, Brianna, and Roger have that time traveling gene thing going on, but they're not alone. We've met a bunch of other characters, both in the show and in the books, who can also hop through time. 
Names like Galus Duncan, Wendigo Donner, and Maester Raymond ring a bell. Yeah, there are quite a few out there, scattered across the globe. But hold your horses, because here's the big question. Can our beloved Jamie Fraser travel through time? Well, if we're talking about traveling the same way the others do, then the answer is a big old no, my friends. Jamie doesn't have that time-traveling gene coursing through his veins. But it seems the show has just suggested that he actually can travel just by other means. In the books, we learn that Brianna and Roger's daughter Mandy has this cool ability to see people as different elements, and Jamie is water. Those who she sees as water don't possess the power to travel through time, which is a bummer, I know. But there's a moment in the TV series where Jamie actually touches one of those mysterious stones. Claire, being the time-traveling queen that she is, wants him to come with her to the future. But guess what? Jamie can't hear those stones whispering secrets like Claire can. He doesn't feel that magical pull toward them either. So when he touches the stone, you know what happens? Absolutely nothing. Many think that Jamie has never traveled to the future, and he probably won't be doing it anytime soon. And some fans say that the ghost sightings don't exactly count. Now, I get it. Many of you would love to see Jamie strut his stuff in the future. Because, oh boy, imagine Jamie's reaction to all that mind-blowing technology. In fact, I wouldn't be doing Hewan's Hooligans justice if I didn't explore some of their mind-bending theories about Jamie going to the future. I'm talking wild speculations, creative ponderings, and a whole lot of excitement. Time to venture into the realm of the paranormal. In a world where time travel intertwines the past and the future, it's no wonder that the supernatural might be lurking around the corner. Let's take a trip down memory lane and revisit that spine-tingling moment in the pilot when Claire and Frank were warned about the presence of ghosts during the Sawin Festival. According to the lore, this festival acted as a gateway where the line between the living and the dead grew scarily thin. Many fans think that Jamie met an untimely death in the past, but his ghostly spirit continued to linger, haunting Claire until that fateful night when Sawin arrived. It's as if the stars aligned and the veil between the worlds became permeable, allowing Jamie's ghost to break through and reunite with his beloved. Cue the goosebumps, but hold on tight, because another paranormal fan theory takes things even further. Some speculate that both Jamie and Claire actually passed away in the past, leaving Jamie as a restless spirit, desperately seeking his soulmate. It's the sheer force of their unbreakable bond that propelled Jamie to travel time and space, yearning to find Claire in the future. Can you feel the shivers running down your spine yet? This theory adds a whole new layer of intrigue to Outlander, giving a whole new meaning to Jamie's ghostly presence. It looks like this show has more than a few tricks up its sleeve, and the paranormal whispers are just the beginning of a truly captivating journey. You see, some wild fan theories suggest that Jamie's dreams might just be his secret portal to the future. Yeah, imagine Jamie catching some shut-eye and boom, his consciousness takes a trip forward in time. That's some next-level dream magic. His mind is actually wandering into the future, getting all the juicy details. Remember that mind-blowing moment in Season 4 when Jamie dropped a crazy hint about a birthmark on Brianna's neck? But here's the kicker. He could only have known about it if he'd seen his daughter in the future. Every time Jamie dozes off and dreams, his consciousness becomes this epic tour guide, leading him straight to his family in the future. It's like he's getting VIP access to all the insider info and using it to connect the dots across time. Talk about a dad with some serious dream powers. I don't know about you, but now it's confirmed that Jamie's dreams are more than just random images floating around. I only have more questions. The dreams are like his own personal time-traveling adventure, giving him glimpses into his loved one's lives. This adventure just got a whole lot more exciting, and so did the plot of Outlander. So there you have it, from crazy theories about how Jamie travels to the future in his sleep, to his dream being connected to the ghost in the pilot episode. That's how Outlander just confirmed that Jamie Fraser is going to the future.